Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video. Today I'm making a two-page layout with a whole bunch of photos that I took when we went to Östersund this summer. We went to an outdoor museum uh, there, it's called Jamtli, and I had never been there before so it was really special and uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, this is an uh, outdoor museum with uh, old buildings from uh, hundreds of years back and uh, lots of these cultural uh, sites and exhibitions and uh, it was really really nice weather <laughs> and that was unusual uh, for this summer. We had lousy weather uh, most of the time but, but this day we had sunshine and uh, we could walk uh, among these uh, buildings and uh, uh, go into them and, uh, and just enjoy our stay there. At this particular museum uh, there are actors inhabiting these uh, uh, different uh, buildings and sites so uh, it was also very special because they were interacting with you uh, quite a lot. For example we, we visited a small church and uh, uh, the, the priest there uh, in, in that church he he uh, gave us quite a, a, a hard time uh, why we hadn't gotten in time for, for the service that day and uh, he, he didn't joke <laughs> at all <laughs> so he played his role really really well and it was actually quite um, uh, embarrassing to, to, to uh, have to listen to him uh, going about uh, that, uh, uh, that hard and uh, the kids didn't like it at all uh, they they thought it was really uncomfortable and uh, they they thought that when we visited these uh, different sites it was almost that like we uh, went into someone's home uh, and in a way we did <laughs> but they were it was their job <laughs> but uh, it it was special i'm not the type of person that enjoys uh, that <laughs> part of of the event but it was a lot of beautiful sights and and it was uh, very very uh, interesting uh, for this uh, double uh, page i will uh, show the photos from two different sites that we went to and they will they kind of they are about two different uh, time periods uh, with 100 years in between them and uh, the the oldest is to the left and it's a uh, kind of a, a mansion it's um, it's it was built in a, like in a square the the buildings were surrounded uh, an inner uh, yard and it was really uh, lovely I, I i understood why they built it like that because the the inner yard was really a, a safe haven from everything that could be uh, dangerous out there and uh, it was uh, a really nice place uh, for I guess rich people and there they had really nice um, like paintings on the walls in the hall and uh, I the, the three photos on the top left there are of the, the paintings on the walls and I love them they were really really just wonderful and uh, the lower uh, photos the smaller ones are from the outside of those uh, buildings from taken from the in inner yard uh, and you see the houses and in one of the photos it's uh, hubby and the kids they are looking at something uh, by a table a writing desk in the hall I'm using cream colored cardstock as the foundation for both these pages and uh, I will use uh, dark brown wood grain paper from Simple Stories as the kind of like the floor and uh, the wooden beam <laughs> in the ceiling uh, on, on the both pages and it will run across both so it will continue um, on uh, both sides as an accent on both pages I will use another piece of not like wood grain but wood uh, like board 
pattern paper. Uh, it's two pages, uh, six by six pages, I've uh, taken from a pad. And uh, one of those uh, boards is whitewashed and the other is uh, brown. And I'm cutting uh, pieces that are the same size as the uh, small photos. And then um, I'm also cutting pieces that are half that size so that I can place them um, at in these gaps that I get uh, where the the photo ends. The right side of this page is about uh, 100 years later than the left and uh, these were a group of buildings and uh, they were I think upper working class kind of uh, that kind of, of uh, um, segment of, of the society and uh, I have taken photos of some of the, the tools they had in the house, like a spinning wheel and the washing board, and there's the, the open uh, fireplace and uh, uh, a really uh, large um, uh, clock. And um, there's also a, page, uh, a photo of uh, a dinner table uh, by a window. And the two photos are from the outside, and they uh, show two different buildings in these, this group of buildings. And there are also two beehives there, which I thought was really nice to, to get on the page, because my kids uh, like to ask questions about beehives, and, and I like to tell stories about, uh, about bees and, and how you uh, harvest honey. So I wanted to, to have those in the album. And uh, now I'm inking the edges of all the small pieces and I'm using my brown uh, like uh, my brown ink for that and I, I always have this uh, Tim Holtz um, uh, coloring tool uh, prepared with uh, brown ink and uh, occasionally I just wet it with some more like a distress ink or, or a refiller ink from one of my color box uh, uh, bottles. So, but it's always brown ink, and that's the the chalk or, or ink that I like to to color edges uh, with. And uh, the I have the felt uh, applicator, and uh, it works fine for me. But when after a couple of months, I I like to to change that and uh, just get a new one. So it, it works fine for me. I I like it best when uh, it has gone a couple of weeks since I re-inked it because uh, then the it, it's more not so moist and uh, the the color uh, is more soft uh, and I like that now it's a long process of uh, <laughs> putting these small small elements on this uh, uh, background when I did this page, I had two things going on in my mind. First, it was the fact that I had forgotten uh, from uh, what these uh, sites were called. So I looked online several times and tried to, to look in, on uh, Instagram to see if anyone else had <laughs> taken these photos and, and actually remembered to tell what the, the name of these um, uh, buildings were, but I didn't find any. I was pretty sure I knew the name of the left place, and uh, but since I I didn't really <laughs> remember uh, what uh, actual building we'd been in when I took the photos, I, I couldn't. Um, I decided not to to write the names anywhere um, for for any of the the sites. So instead, I just fo I will just focus on the year that they depict. So uh, I will later write the year, the years um, as my titles. But uh, and the other uh, thing that was going through my mind is, will I be able to embellish this page? It has 15 photos and uh, a lot of small elements and uh, not a lot of white space. This is a typical uh, Osa layout, I think. I like to cram as much many papers, uh, many photos as possible onto the page, and uh, all the photos have information that I want to to be visible. So not a lot of of empty space. 
but I really wanted to to make uh, a point or a, a, a balancing on on the page so I brought out these um, die cut uh, paper hearts that I actually bought at this museum in the museum shop and uh, this was my first uh, time breaking my spending freeze for crafting supplies and I did one more uh, during this vacation and that's the only two I've, al I've actually made. I've been on a spending freeze since June and uh, I bought those paper hearts because I thought they were lovely and they kind of became a souvenir uh, from this museum and then I also I think the day after I bought a set of uh, 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 Faber-Castell um, brush markers uh, I bought five of them and uh, uh, because I thought they were like these um, uh, uh, real color brush um, SIG pencils but they weren't and I was really bit disappointed about the, the, that purchase so uh, that was not a, a good one <laughs> but these hearts I wanted to use on this page because I I think the flourishing on these f uh, f hearts they pick up on the the cultural uh, feel it's these symbols or the swirls and, and the flourishes on the hearts are very much the the traditional kind of uh, um, embellishing uh, from uh, from way back here in Sweden, and um, I I thought they fitted these photos really well, especially since I have these um, uh, wall paintings on the left side, and um, they were also so delicate that they they are almost see-through and or they are see-through <laughs> here and there and uh, that made them kind of blend into the page really well so i'm placing these together with the burlap uh, tags that i had punched out with my cuddle bag and uh, i'm also using um, a kind of a nature colored uh, twine it's got a, a really thin gold thread uh, intertwined there and uh, I make my usual bows <laughs> with that twine and I'm also using some homemade um, like uh, flares flare badges and um, they will give that little shine to these clusters and I'm also uh, adding a couple of wood veneer uh, keys uh, to the these clusters. So I have three clusters with the uh, uh, flourished hearts and I have a couple of more clusters with the um, burlap uh, tag and the like the bow, the, the twine bow. And uh, I, I think that the burlap is perfect for this kind of photos because it, it gives this uh, kind of natural uh, rustique feel and uh, the colors go go really well with this nature uh, colored uh, photos. I chose um, these uh, flare badges uh, so that they go in the wood grain kind of theme. Uh, one or two of them have a bit of pattern going on but uh, mainly it's the wood grain and the color of wood grain. Now I have made the the start of the titling. I'm using um, uh, foam uh, thickers in white and uh, they pick up on the white in the hearts really well. Even though the background cardstock is uh, cream colored, I think that the white uh, adds a really nice uh, touch in this page. The Some of the photos has really white details uh, like the the windows in in the outdoor photos uh, to the right, and the, there's also the the stove and and the, some of the walls. There are really really bright white, so it, it wasn't a problem for me to add white to a cream-colored layout with these natural um, tones going on. 
I thought that went very well. Now I'm digging through one of my spice jars there to see if I could find one more key. And I did, so that I will have keys in all my heart uh, clusters. And I'm adhering it with my normal adhesive, it's the uh, quick dry adhesive from Scotch. Or it's uh, precise, strong and precise it's called. And, and that's my, my uh, go-to uh, liquid glue. Now I thought that I needed to bring in some more uh, titling. So on the left page I will write the name of this museum. And I'm writing it uh, above the year so that uh, it, it's almost like this is the museum in 1785. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 7085 in this museum, but it's it's totally okay for me. So that's the museum name, and then above the 1895, I'm writing anno, like the that I, I guess it's it, uh, Latin uh, for the year, and uh, I think that that's that kind of uh, word that would be um, not unusual to see <laughs> on, on a mural like that. Like that. It's the, the year of uh, 1895. Here are some close-ups of uh, these two pages and uh, you'll see the, the details and you can even see the, the wall painting this there in, in the photos a bit better now. I hope that you have enjoyed this process and I hope that I have inspired you to uh, make a double spread uh, with many photos, especially the combination of big photos and small photos. I think it's really fun. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope that you'll have a really nice week. Take care. This is Osa. Bye.